that's another Friday Reviews video. Friday, Friday, Friday Reviews. Friday, Friday, Friday Film Reviews. Okay, so that is the tune. You know what I realised last last week when I did a Friday Reviews? I only included the tune on one of the videos. And it was related to what this video is too. Uh, yeah, I probably will do like a proper little intro thing. I just haven't got around to it yet. But today I'm going to be reviewing Jurassic Park 3D Blu-ray. Um, so yeah, it's kind of going to be a bit more, you know, on the 3D conversion and stuff in the actual movie. Um, but, you know, we'll talk a little bit about the movie because obviously I haven't reviewed the movie before. But it is an older movie and, of course, Jurassic World just came out. So I had to backtrack and watch all the others as well. Um, because I had, I've seen this one loads of times. Two and three, haven't seen as much. But this one, I've watched a bunch. And I do also have it on Blu-ray. Where's the Blu-ray? Here it is. Oh, so I had it on Blu-ray so I knew that it looked pretty um fantastic because i watched it uh, a couple of times on blu-ray it's the 100th anniversary universal one and yeah i really like this one so i'm going to keep this um like special edition one and but yeah i just picked this one up for the 3d because it was only 10 pounds as well and a lot of you guys on my monday movie hunt said that this was definitely worth the pickup in 3d so i was like yes i will trust you guys i will go with that uh, that's another reason why i love monday movie hunting as well because um you know i get to find out what you think is good and stuff. So uh, I pretty much watched this the first night that I picked it up. I was very excited because I'd just been to see Jurassic World a couple of days before um, so I was really excited to go back and relive Jurassic Park and I have to say this movie is so fantastic and really stands the testament of time. When did it come out? I want to say 1993 but I feel like that's actually not right. I keep thinking it's 1993 because that's the year that I was born but I don't know if it is. I like to go with that. I like to make myself believe that but whether it is or not I'm not sure, well I'm sure I'll put it somewhere what it is, but all one of you's gonna know. Um, but yeah, anyway, so this movie, you know, came out a long time ago and it's still so fantastic and the movie itself, we'll talk about first, is just kind of, I don't even know how to describe it, when they first um, come to Jurassic Park, to the island I guess, on the helicopter, it's just like wow, and then the first time you see like a dinosaur, it's like wow, and the first time they walk in, they see the, you know, the, the skeletons and stuff, it's like oh wow, everything's really wow in this movie, and I just love it, um, it's all kind of very magical, that's maybe not the, quite the right word, but I feel like it is, it's just that when they're in the jeep, and they first see the I don't know the real name for it. The long neck dinosaur. Uh, when I was little, I used to always watch A Lamb Before Time, and they don't give them the real dinosaur names. So like, little foot was a long neck. Uh, cause, you know that's, that's. So I always think, oh yeah, the long neck, and it's, that's not its real name. Um, but yeah, so I don't know what they're really called. Not too good on my dinosaur names, but the long neck dinosaur, and it's just so. I just don't even know. It's just so great. And then you know the movie has this wonderful beginning, and you know when they were with the, is it Triceratops? The one with the, I don't know, I don't know the dinosaur's names. Uh, and you know, it's ill and she's there and I love the characters in this one too. The man and the woman are great and the two kids are great. Um, and you know, obviously, oh my god, what's his name? What's his name? Um, oh my god, it's going to kill me that I can't remember his name. Not, uh, Richard Attenborough. That's it, I was going to say not David Attenborough, but I found it, Richard Attenborough. Um, Richard Attenborough is obviously in this one, he's kind of like, has made the park and stuff and he's great, everybody's great in it and also the funny guy who they tried to replicate with a funny guy in Jurassic World and he wasn't, he didn't, it was a bit much easier in that one um, but yeah so it starts out really lovely and just kind of eye-oring amazing and then things get really intense when the T-Rex is on the loose and it really is quite an intense movie like it has those bits and it's kind of mix of action packed and then it goes kind of back to calm and then action packed and then it has some bits of calm, it's not just constantly everybody's getting eaten, everybody's dying, you know, it's more like a survival rather than you're doomed, whereas I felt like in the new one everybody was just kind of, well, apart from maybe some people, but it kind of felt like the odds were really against them in that movie, whereas this one, you kind of feel like there's hope, you're like, oh, they can do it, but in the other one it's a bit like, well, there's still hope there, but it really, you know, there's very much many people getting eaten, <laughs> and, um, but this one, it kind of then, there's this part where, I feel I don't want to ruin it if you haven't seen it, but basically after some intense moments there's a part where they're, they're all sat in a tree and they, they've chose to sit in the tree, they've not gone in a tree any other way, so if you've seen it you'll know what I mean and they're sat in a tree and it's a really really beautiful moment and it's just really sweet and heartwarming so in the middle of the action then there's a sweet bit and then there's some more action and then there's this and then there's that and then sometimes you think right okay it's all over, it's all okay 
and then something else happens. So it's really, the pacing in this one's really, really lovely. And I really appreciate that and love that. So yeah, overall I give Jurassic Park a five stars. I mean, it's fantastic. I mean, I don't really need to go on about too much more. You've probably all seen Jurassic Park. If you haven't seen Jurassic Park, you must watch Jurassic Park. Now for the 3D of the Blu-ray. So obviously this is converted into 3D. And I don't think I've seen a 3D conversion before. Uh, oh, I've seen Disney ones actually in the cinema. I went to see The Lion King in the cinema in 3D. And I went to see another film in the cinema in 3D in conversion, but not at home 3D. Um, so yeah, this is my first kind of at home 3D conversion, and it was so good! I definitely want to now look up more 3D conversions, so if you have any suggestions, let me know down below. Uh, but yeah, it looked amazing! Seriously, the picture quality was fantastic, um, the 3D was brilliant, like the depth of field was incredible, there was some pop-out moments, there was like pe the people were like there, and the screen was like there, it was so good, it was a 5 star 3D, um, you know, 5 star movie, 5 star 3D, I mean, you definitely need to pick this up if you see it cheap, like I say, I got it for £10 and it's definitely worth it the 3d on it is absolutely fantastic and it was just great it was like watching it was better than some new 3d films nowadays i mean some are really fantastic but there's some that aren't quite as good and this you know really did so well so i'm really glad they put a lot of effort into the conversion of this and didn't just try and oh we'll put a bit of 3d on it it really really you could really tell and it really made an impact and it definitely made the movie more exciting, more intense. I really enjoyed watching this in 3D and I would definitely recommend that you pick it up. Um, yeah, I just really, really enjoyed it. I give the 3D 5 stars and like I say, the depth was really great. Uh, the picture quality remained great. There was some like out of screen moments and also sometimes with 3D I find that sometimes in, in the corner, like a little bit of a corner, where it's not quite, it's a bit off. I noticed it not really much, but sometimes when you watch the 3D movie, you'll notice the 3D uh, a corner of the screen. Something hasn't quite d got the 3D right. I didn't see any real errors in this 3D, which I thought was fantastic. Sometimes you just see it. I don't really think much of it. But when I saw absolutely not, and I was this was looking out for it a bit more because it has been converted, and you know it just was. I felt like it was really perfect and great. So yeah, definitely check out 3D. If you haven't seen Jurassic Park, definitely check out Jurassic Park. And that's pretty much my review. It's an all five star round review. So comment down below with your thoughts. If you have seen it in 3D or you have any of the 3D conversion suggestions, thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me see, know if you've seen Jurassic World. Until then, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye!